Hello guys, my name is Doak and I asked you for crazy mural ideas that I should definitely paint. I did that on Instagram and I would like to thank you very much because there was a lot of great suggestions, great ideas. I tried to pick the best ones and right now it's time to paint them. We love you! Yeah! You're the best! Oh my god! Yes, please! Perfect! Let's go! The first idea that I'm gonna paint is a dinosaur eating a UFO and the alien jumping out of it. But the alien is dressed in baggy clothes. I picked this idea because it includes a lot of elements and some communication between characters, which is always nice. And so I'm starting here with a very rough sketch and then I add some reference pictures and I try to find the structure, the structure of the UFO and also the characters. The good thing is that I'm painting a dinosaur and and an alien and nobody really knows how these two look like so this is a very forgiving process but on the other hand this is the first sketch right and I have to admit that my uh, artistic demons started to pop up in my head and I started to doubt uh, my decisions you know I'm still in the process of finding my path in this non graffiti world and I have to admit that it's very challenging for me for example, I have problems with shape design. When you look at the dinosaur's head, at first it, it has pretty uh, realistic proportions. But I am not a big fan of that. I want to stylize it a little. That's why I added these uh, sort of horns to the head, just to make it a little bit more busy, a little bit more interesting. Right after the struggle with shapes comes a different problem, uh, colors. What I did is that I picked a color scheme with some uh, complementary colors and uh, I just started to fill in uh, certain areas with certain colors. Right from the beginning I had a feeling that the color scheme is a little bit too uh, pastel, a little bit too bright. So I tried to add some darker colors, uh, some uh, textures as well, which is something I don't usually do because uh, when you paint on walls, some kind of texture is already there. Then I played with uh, some blending and I tried to adjust uh, some details. And we're looking at the final result of your first idea. I also tried to find a suitable building for this idea, at least in terms of colors, because I guess this dino alien topic wouldn't fit anywhere. And as I'm looking at it, well, I can't really say that I'm satisfied. And, uh, I hope that you appreciate the, the little detail that I incorporated. I'm talking about that alien middle finger that the alien is giving to, to the dinosaur. The second idea that I picked from you is Smart DMS KGB as a spray can. For those of you who are confused right now, Smart blah 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 is this guy. He showed up in one of my uh, recent videos and he is a famous music producer over here in Slovakia, also one of the most experienced graffiti writers in this country. Let's turn him into a spray can. So first of all I needed a good reference picture and I found the perfect one. It even looks that Smart is trying to... Um, you know what I mean. Anyways, I'm starting to build the character based on the reference picture. I use some structural techniques in the beginning and then I try to put my uh, proportions there. First of all I'm trying to basically create uh, realistic uh, proportions. But then I'm thinking, you know, that's boring. Once again, the same problem as before. So I'm trying to tweak some proportions of uh, this face to make it a little bit more interesting. So yes, I'm basically trying to do a caricature, but very, very light version of it. My main concern at this point is uh, likeness. The character needs to look like smart. There is no other option. If it doesn't look like smart, the whole point is gone, right? And so I build my proportions and and I applied an outline. And to be honest, uh, I didn't really tweak them all that much, right? I was too concerned about the likeness. After the outline comes uh, the coloring part. And this time I like the colors that I picked. 
However, I'm not really sure how, you know, how to render the face. I've put the solid colors in and I was struggling quite a lot with, uh, with the beard, which is one of the main things that makes this character <laughs> believable. And yeah, at the end, the thing that I decided to do is that I decided to soften some of the edges. I decided to make a bit of gradients in the face to make it more uh, better looking. I don't know how to call that. But as I'm getting towards the end, I'm happy because of one thing, the likeness. It's there. For me, it's clear that it's smart. But I'm also kind of disappointed because it's just, uh, as I said, the proportions are too realistic. And we are finished. And I have to say that I really like this uh, character. Good idea, someone. And yeah, as I mentioned before, I would like to tweak the proportions a little bit more. I want to be able to do that and still remain the likeness. I would like to have this skill. <laughs> and let's continue. Right now I would like to put two of your ideas together. The first one is snow holing like a wolf with a spooky background and something very, very horror. Maybe the nun or Annabelle or maybe a mix, but very horror. <clears throat> horror! No, nothing, nothing. He's not a fan of your ideas, but anyways, let's turn him into a horror character. So first of all, the reference pictures. I thought that this one might be funny, you know, turning it into a sadistic demon something. There's also this one, which, uh, yeah, pure demon, but it's kind of not interesting visually. And so I picked this one <laughs> with this lovely pose. I really like the perspective here. I think that this, this is gonna, this is gonna work. So once again, I'm starting the process with a loose sketch of snow. I changed the position of his head, so he's howling. And I'm thinking, how do I make this horror-like? And so I got an idea that I will make him possessed by these horror movie characters. I will wrap them around him. And I'm starting to think that, yeah, this is nice. This might work. And so I start with some colors. You know, I start thinking about the rendering process and I bump into into a lot of problems. You know, I don't really know how am I going to render this. It needs to be dark, that's for sure. But how how do I proceed? How? Uh, I don't know. Uh, and that's why I decided to just leave the colors for later. And I decided to go over all the shapes once again, make the shapes more uh, defined. And yeah, I like the sketch, but how do I render this? I decided to start the rendering with an outline, which is uh, not really a good start. And if you want to talk about the rendering, I basically decided to do something similar what I've done a few years ago in my Halloween Trump painting, which basically is that you fill the scene with a dark color and you use two light sources to bring the objects into the scene, which is a good method, especially for these spooky themes. But I was not really feeling good when I was doing this because I just didn't feel like I know what I'm doing. Actually, during all these sketches, I feel like I'm just wondering, and this might be caused by the fact that all these sketches are pretty different. Sure, until this point, all of them included characters, but the first one was very light, the second one was very different from that, this is completely dark. Um, yeah, um, I don't feel comfortable at all, but that's the point, I guess. And I'm done with another one of your ideas. What do I think about it? Ah, oh, man. I mean, I kind of like it. I think that the spookiness is there, but... Uh, yeah, I'm not all that happy with it. It's not bad, but... Eh, I don't know. Let's just hope that I've learned something with this. Definitely I did, obviously. And by the way, for your information, so far, each one of these artworks uh, took me approximately, with breaks, about seven hours. If I don't count the breaks, let's make it five, which is a lot. I mean, I feel like I should be faster, but at the same time, I feel like I should slow down and think about my decisions more clearly. Anyways, a lot of you suggested to paint myself a self-portrait or my YouTube journey. Things connected to, to me, my character, basically. I've done that in the past. Here is an example. And until this day, I'm actually surprised that there is the likeness, you know? It looks like me. So let's do it again. Let's do a dog character. First things first, I needed some reference pictures of my beautiful face. And one thing that I realized is that I wear a hat. 
a lot or a cap. I'm starting with a loose sketch and the one thing that I have on my mind is the shapes. Once again, I don't want a complete realism. I want to exaggerate some things. What do I exaggerate about my beautiful face? <laughs> Well, first of all, I tried to make my eyebrows more uh, dominant because, well, in reality, they are. And also, I paid a lot of attention to my big nose, which is kind of pointy. I made my eyes a little bit bigger and my chin a little bit smaller. And voila, as I'm looking at the sketch, I recognize myself, which is a good sign. But then I'm thinking, hmm, this is nice, but I, I might add some, some more stuff, some things about me. And so I involve my country, Slovakia, the year of my birth a spray can obviously with the year when I grabbed it for the first time and for sure we can't go around a camera with a year when I started my YouTube journey I also added a little tattoo of one of the typical monuments in my city Bratislava and in order to make this a little bit more busy I also added my initials once again I apply an outline and I start with colors oh boy first of all I apply the shadow value and then I try to do the light part. However, yeah, um, I I'm not liking it. I'm especially struggling with with the beard because obviously the beard is a lot darker than your skin. However, in the reference picture that I have, half of my beard is very dark. The second half is pretty light. Yeah, I don't have a perfect beard. But yeah, this process was a lot of struggling. At one point I completely erased what I've done and I started all over again with a little bit different uh, color scheme. But then I compared this new color scheme with the old color scheme and I've realized that the old color scheme was better. I just needed to do some changes. Also, I was constantly bothered by one of my eyes, the bigger one. I constantly felt like something is off, but whatever. When I was kind of happy with the face and the shapes on the face, I started to pay some attention to other elements such as the camera and the can. Although I have to admit that I didn't pay all that much attention to them because I was just so exhausted from the face that I just wanted to skip this whole part of the design. But I finished it somehow and I tried to create some visually interesting background for this piece. And when I had that, I finally started with some blending. I started to take care of uh, the edges in, in the face, which made the portrait a little bit less stylized in my opinion, a little bit more realistic looking. Multiple times I turned this uh, blending layer off and I kind of had a feeling that it was better without the blending. So I was thinking that maybe I am overdoing this. But as I was getting towards the end, I knew it's not perfect, but I kind of like the piece. Alrighty guys, this is the day number five of this goddamn video and I finished my self-portrait. Here it is. I like it. The likeness is definitely there although especially the lower part, the neck and the beard looks kind of muddy to me which is not a good thing. Maybe I should have kept some of these edges more sharp but as I said I like it. I'm aware of some mistakes but the most important thing is that I feel some improvement. Guys at this point I have to admit that I I have failed because I created four designs and in my plan I wanted to do five and the last one was actually the most requested one. Stranger Things. That was the most common request that you sent me and I really wanted to create a cool Stranger Things artwork but as I said I was already recording this for five days and I like to be optimistic, but a cool Stranger Thing design would take me at least another three days. So <sighs> it pisses me off as hell, but I'm just not able to do that. To be honest, the last five days were very challenging for me because I was uh, I was constantly in touch with, with, with my flaws, you know? I was frustrated that I'm too slow. My brain was telling me, this is too slow, how the hell is this happening? But I know why. It's because I, I need more experience. I, you know, when you are painting, you are dealing with decisions and I was... I was not able to make fast decisions. I had to do research for a lot of them and I had to study some stuff to make the right decisions. And many times I did wrong decisions and I had to do it over again. And at the end, yes, it happened that I was not all that happy with the result. That's the process of learning, I guess. But anyways, I hope that you like this concept because this is actually a way 
how I can implement more practice into my daily routines and although it hurts, it hurts. I feel that it's very important for me. So if you guys enjoyed this video, thumb up would be awesome. Also, let me know which one of these designs was your favorite one. Alrighty, we will definitely do this again in, I don't know how many weeks, but we will do it again. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Woo! Five days, five days.